Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next war recap video. This is the one against number one. Uh, it looks like they're an Asian clan, or mostly Asian, uh, by the title or by the name of their clan. But anyway, uh, first I just want to address uh, last video. I uh, kind of have to give an apology to Demolish for having a weird brain situation and calling them Demolish. Uh, I guess it's just that I'm maybe the word demolition i don't i don't know something something didn't quite click there and it, i think everyone it has, has had it happen to them before with it like you just something doesn't click when you see a word and you don't realize that it's that word even though it's spelled that way and it's a pretty simple word so anyway um i have to give a short apology to them for that uh because i'm pretty sure that's not how they pronounce it and maybe they do maybe they do pronounce it demolish but uh pretty sure that's not how they would think about doing that so anyway uh moving past that though <clears throat> uh we have a good war to show some good attacks from and uh, this one is special in that uh it's the first war or the first one i can remember at least where i'm not going to show all the town hall 10 and or town hall 11 three stars even if some of them were good attacks because there's just too many and uh I can't make, I don't want to make the video, you know, 20, 25 minutes long, because uh, there were a lot of good attacks at Town Hall uh, 10, Town Hall 11, but it, our clan's getting heavier, and uh, it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to start picking and choosing attacks, which I think is a lot better, because I can pick the best ones, kind of like how I've always done at Town Hall 9, pick the best three stars, where the same thing is kind of happening as Genesis is getting heavier, we have quite a few 11s, then also, you know, like 10, 12, Town Hall 10s, so... Uh, it's cool to see that and see the clan progressing. But anyway, we're going to start at the very top spot with a mass bowler attack. Those nice level 3 bowlers taking out this base and uh, it's Black Dread. Doing it with the level 11 warden, which is cool. And that's not necessarily the highest level warden. So, uh, cool stuff there. Uh, drops down the queen and the healers on her. And I've said this so many times, you'll see it in pretty much all these attacks. You need the healers anyway for your bowlers, so might as well do a queen walk. Might as well put the healers on a, on a golem or on some bowlers or something at the beginning of the attack to get value for them other than just healing your main group of bowlers. Uh, because you have plenty of time doing this attack because as soon as things start, uh, it's you know all in. Time's not really an issue. So uh, you, you want to get some kind of value for this healers and it's a short queen walk but it takes out a good part of the base and just helps funnel everything in takes out some flanking defenses uh just very nice stuff you can see right here the uh, healers are going to get onto the bowlers uh, goes ahead and pops the warden's ability a little bit earlier i think that was fine the uh, that one balloon was kind of a threat and uh the eagle as well because once they're in here under that rage they're just destroying this base. It's ridiculous how quickly they move through. Uh, the single target Infernos definitely helps because uh, they can only take out one bowler at a time, which is less effective. And uh, you can see here, the healer is still healing you know, all of his troops in, the, in their core here. Uh, has the queen and the warden both up. And then has a number of hogs that he saved for the other side of this base. Because you can see there's that little divide. There's a number of walls separating the bowlers from the next layer. And even though they would get there eventually, uh, the hogs is just another way to completely destroy the space. Uh, the, as soon as the bowlers make their way through, drops in that one hog. There goes the CC of hogs. Uh, so like seven more hogs in there. Uh, just making their way through, taking out the wizard tower, and they'll continue on. The healers actually get on the hogs, which is awesome. Uh, they'll stay up quite a, a bit longer. And uh, the queen's at the bottom here helping out uh, with cleanup. But everything making its way through. We'll go ahead and go times two as the bowlers make their way through the rest of the space along with the hogs and the heroes. Awesome attack. Crushed the space. Uh, demolished it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, nice attack. Black Dread. Okay, we have number four. Uh, Black Dread again, actually. And uh, this is another uh, Town Hall 11 base. It's kind of a common one. This layout, we see it at Town Hall 10 too, just ver different variations. And look what he does here with the healers on the golem. Another way to get value because that golem is not losing any health pretty much. Uh, also has that one healer on the bowlers for the bowler walk. So just finding ways to uh, get great value for his troops. And uh, that one golem actually does get, you know, s starts going down a little bit. 
because the three-point defense is pretty serious at that max level, but still gets great value um, for these healers uh, because they can be kind of a support troop before they actually become the main uh, healing force on the main group of bowlers. But anyway, uh, avoids the eagle artillery until he drops his main force because he stayed under the limit. That haste spell I think actually was pretty cool. Keeps the warden moving so he keeps everything protected. Keeps the bowlers, the healers moving. It uh, really helps his support troops keep up with the bowlers. There go the rages though in the freeze. Also has a heal which will drop, uh, which is something interesting that you don't see that much, but it also works. Uh, great value on that freeze. Gets a lot of defenses, including the Inferno Tower. The other one just goes down to the bowlers right here. So both Inferno's down already and uh, still has a ton of troops up. Goes ahead and drops that heal for them. Not even needed, but actually worked out nicely because the healers are on the queen. So uh, keeps the bowlers up a little longer than they would have. Here come these balloons, which are always a great touch if you can get to these air defenses that are kind of near the core. So gets those balloons or gets those defenses taken out with the balloons, and uh, the queen's doing work at the bottom here on these defenses. So awesome attack right here. Everything's kind of finishing up. We'll go ahead and go times two. Still has one balloon left to deploy, and pops that queen's ability. Uh, just a few defenses left, and this one's over. Unfortunately, those lava pups took out quite a few of his bowlers. They just never went down, I guess. But anyway. Uh, the queen's still making her way around and still has that balloon, which he's holding on to, and I think we'll deploy that in just a moment. Uh, right, go ahead and go times four, but um, yeah, right there, there goes the balloon to take out that building. Good use of it there to save time. Okay, uh, we're going to take a look at mostly Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 attacks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go down to nine, because the Town Hall 9 bases weren't that, uh, were kind of anti-2 bases. They weren't the type of bases that we'd like to see. And at Town Hall 9, if it's not on an anti three star base, it's not that interesting to be honest. So uh, we're going to take a look at just two Town Hall 9 attacks and focus mainly on Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10 attacks because these are interesting to see even on a base that doesn't have the best layout because it's a little bit trickier even on the anti two star bases to get the three star. So we're looking at a Valk attack being done by one of our Town Hall 10s on one of their Town Hall 10s. This is RK. H11, starting off with the queen walk, clears out, clears out that entire compartment. Not sure if the queen was supposed to go into the compartment there. Maybe, maybe not, but I think it worked out okay if I remember correctly because uh, she starts taking out buildings and is out of range of the Inferno Towers. Uh, but at the bottom, comes in with some giants and uh, some Valks, letting everything make their way into the base here. Uh, they'll meet up kind of with where the queen's shooting at. There goes the king and uh, the jump to let everything on into the base has the poison, goes ahead and drops those poisons early, which I like, because you can they last a long time, and you typically don't need them as long as they last, so drop the poisons down early so you have time to drop your other spells when you really need them, because uh, he drops the freeze, the rage, the heal, there's all those different spells in that one area. The Valks destroy the inner core of this base, and then has those balloons, which might not be obvious, but typically when you use Valks, they kind of tend to gut the core of the base, but they have trouble getting to these defenses on the outside. You can see they're getting picked off at the top here, which is why the queen, having her up is huge, and uh, having these balloons to kind of go around the base and take out defenses is also uh, very helpful. So it has a nice little parade of balloons making their way through. They do take a couple air bombs, but has enough. Uh, they have enough health to get to these defenses, take them out along with the king, uh, some wizards, everything kind of converging on this last bit of the base. Times four as this one wraps up. Awesome attack to RKH11. Okay, uh, speaking of 11, number 11 here, our last Town Hall 10 attack that we're going to look at for today. This one is Jinj95, and uh, he's coming in with another Valk attack. Wanted to keep it pretty balanced between bowlers and Valks because that's what's working. I've seen uh, actually a little bit of minor action um, <clears throat> on other uh, channels. And uh, on like, you know, websites, whatever. Uh, but people have been talking about it, I guess is what I'm saying, is some minor attacks. And uh, I'm still waiting to see that in Genesis. I think people are, just because our 11s maybe aren't quite maxed out, the, the minors weren't the main priority after the update. But they seem pretty powerful if you use them right. So I'm still waiting to see some of that. Hopefully we'll get to uh, check out some of that action soon in Genesis. But anyway, um, back to this attack. Drops in a few hogs, gets that sea sealer, uh, like the poisons there, make sure that they're not going to damage his queen. That rage wasn't was not needed, probably. 
Uh, you can see she's not even taking any damage from anything at this point. So kind of a wasted rage, but uh, still impressive he got the three star despite that. There come the Valks, the King, everything making its way on in. I'm not sure if you wanted uh, the Valks to go through the wall there. And he maybe he just ad adjusted that jump spell because it looked like he deployed them way off to the side. But has some bowlers in the CC, which are kind of a good compliment, especially at Town Hall 9 people do that. But Town Hall 10 also, even if you're doing a Valk attack, they're a good little support troop to have in there. The Valks basically destroy the space though. They move their way through the core, take out both those Infernos. And uh, whenever you have a Queen uh, with healers, and there's no Infernos left, that's a pretty good chance of a 3-star right there. Plus, he still has some Valks that are starting to die off, but they'll get a few more defenses along with some Wizards that are kind of closing in and um, just like one or two stray bowlers. So anyway, everything making its way up through the base, uh, kind of taking it out from each side now, has a force up top with the King, the Valks, the Wizards, and then the Queen on the other side, kind of converging on the bottom part of the base here. Still has the Queen's ability, so... Uh, this one looks like it's going to be a 3-star, of course, obviously. Uh, but pops the ability, saves those healers, and uh, everything moves in. We'll go ahead and go times 4, uh, just not to waste any time, because the Queen's just going to snipe these last few buildings and get the 3-star. A nice attack to Jinj95. Okay, two Town Hall 9s for you guys, because uh, I wanted to show some, even though they didn't have the best bases. Actually, I had to splice in this uh, next clip because there was a distraction. But like I said, two Town Hall 9s for you guys, uh, starting with Amsterdam V coming in here. And uh, their Town Hall 9 bases really weren't uh, anything too special, so uh, not a huge focus on them. And this one is kind of, uh, kind of a weak base, but it does have at least some double giant bomb sets, I think. And, uh, it, it, you know, it's a maxed out Town Hall 9 base besides the heroes. So never that easy to 3-star, even if the base design isn't that good. Uh, so Amsterdam coming in with a queen walk. And uh, the queen actually ends up uh, not walking around the base. She gets stuck on the wall, which I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Uh, maybe it, well, the first attacker did it and he was just copying this. Maybe this is a fresh hit. I honestly don't know. But um, either way, it works out okay. Because there's just that one expo on her, and that's not going to be enough to uh, be any kind of threat. So, uh, never mind, she does go around. Okay, I thought she got on the wall for some reason. Might, might be thinking of a different attack. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. That, w that was one of the Town Hall 10 attacks, I guess, that, that happened. Uh, that, that I actually already showed in the last clip. So anyway, uh, goes with the Queen Walk, uh, gets a pretty good part of the base taken out. Uh, might not need that Rage, because all that's left is the uh, Witch. He went ahead and sprinkled in a few wizards, uh, maybe a little. I think a little bit of overkill on that CC. But luckily, the air sweeper pushes back those healers, and that'll keep it out of range of the air defense, at least at the, for the moment. Uh, right there, it's out of range. There goes the king, creating the funnel on one side, uh, wizard to create the funnel on the other, and here comes the main force of Valks making their way on into the base. Has the jump spell, a poison for the queen. A nice little touch there in that first heal to make sure they stay at full health, especially as they go over that double giant bomb set, which can do some pretty good damage to Valks. Uh, so comes in with a few hogs, uh, not that heavy, just kind of getting in there, getting the wizard tower, a few defenses taken out, mainly focusing his heals on the Valks. That jump is still there, so it'll let them into the Tesla farm area as some hogs come in from the top. Still has the queen up as she is about to make her way into the base, but this is pretty much already over. The last kind of double giant bomb set is being triggered right now, and uh, n no threat really because the Valks are mostly at full health. Still has some hogs left, some wizards, and the queen up top. Uh, we'll go ahead and go times four as everything cleans up. Nice attack to Amsterdam V. Okay, um, we are going to look at one more, and that is number 23, just one down. Like I said, not the best selection of bases, um, but this one is just kind of taking what's given. Uh, we're looking at Boudreaux doing a just standard Shattered La Luna attack, and uh, I made the video, like one or two videos back on this, and um, yeah, we're seeing it a little bit more than we did. I think level 4 Lava Hound, like I said, helps, oh, as well as the base is just not being you know particularly set up to defend against it. So he comes in here from the uh, top left there, because a jump spell can access two air defenses, the queen, and he's also going to get an archer tower, um, I think maybe like a tesla, a wizard tower, an air sweeper, so getting that extra value, which especially when you're coming in with two golems, you really want to get that extra value because you have one less lava hound, 
Uh, so you want to make sure you're really getting your money's worth on this one. Pop the King's ability, maybe a little bit too early, but better safe than sorry on the ability there. Uh, first air defense is already down, the CC troops are down, the Queen is down, and that second air defense falls right there. And you know you've done your kill squad right if your Queen is still at full health, even after like everything's been accomplished with the ability and everything. So it does a great job there. Here come the balloons and the lava hounds. Uh, pop the Queen's ability to take out some more defenses. Uh, didn't really uh, do kind of a clockwise or counterclockwise deployment that much. Just kind of came heavy from the bottom. Now he's going to come heavy from the right side. Let everything kind of stay spread out and make its way around. Has that rage for them. Uh, the balloons are taking a little bit longer than he would have liked because that rage was a little bit too deep into the base. They won't get really the full value of it. But eventually they finally get into that air defense. And maybe it actually works out better because the lava hound was there long enough to explode. So he gets those lava pups for cleanup. Everything's spread out pretty nicely. Maybe he could have saved like one balloon for that archer tower and like one balloon for cleanup because he's a little bit clumped up right there. But has plenty of time to get the three star either way. I'll go ahead and fast forward as everything makes its way around and gets the last 30% of this base taken out. Awesome attack to Boudreau getting the job done with <coughs> the Golalum attack. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this war recap video. Uh, good job to everyone at Genesis. Was another solid war. And uh, just taking a look at our war log real quick. Um, things have been pretty crazy lately. Um, starting all the way down with uh, the one we lost by one star against North Watchers. Then the tough one against um, Meden Warrior 4 also. I mean, it's just been pretty much smooth sailing. We've had some close wars. Uh, the arranged wars, of course, are going to be close in here. But for the most part, um, pretty solid wins. And uh, as we continue to go up here to the present times, we are at 216 and 9 with two draws for a total of 227 wars. And our streak actually is, that's my profile, our streak is at 34, which I think is one of the highest we've ever been at. As you guys know, Alpha had a long streak going uh, where they hadn't lost it all in their history. But um, I'm not sure if this is probably not as long as theirs, but one of the longer ones in Genesis, especially with all the arranged wars we do. So keep it up to Genesis, and thanks to you guys for watching this war recap. Stay tuned for more action on the channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.